Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 29 of Rustic Waters 2. And unbelievably or not, this is the third time, or the fourth, that I've recorded this episode. Um, yeah, so it's bonkers. Um, but I've made quite a few changes, as you can see. There's space out here, all of a sudden. Um, I did that in between episodes. And there's also space. This bit was originally here. I extended on that side. I extended on this side. Um, I'd put these slabs on top of here. Because you remember I used to have like cows and stuff? <laughs> yeah. They were in this bit. And then Devario got in there. I have no idea how. But she got in there and ate all my slaughtered all the animals. So I'm going to have to put a double fence. But she's quite happy sitting in there. These two are happy sitting out here. Um I just extended the top well. So now I can walk all the way around to my machines. Um I got my ME, ME system up and going. Up here, I have a very dorky system for making my processors. And basically, I've got the circuits in the top. I still, I'm still manually doing the circuits over in the back there. And then um, I've just hooked up drawers. Stuff. I put the finished circuits up here in this drawer. And it will do them one at a time. Okay. So, and then the output goes in this drawer. So it's semi-automated. This part is semi-automated. Getting the actual circuits is not. I mean, I guess I could. I could um, put drawers on top here as well and just let it, you know, do its thing. So that was one of the episodes, one of the last times that I recorded. Um, There's supposed to be crude oil in there, is it? Oh yeah, it's glitched. Yeah, I found that if you you don't look at it properly, it will glitch and look like it's empty, but it's not empty. Um, so there's that. And also, the big thing, seeing that I'm doing circuits, I got my ME system up and running. Actually, I need to put um, a frame around here. Seeing that it's all grey on this side, maybe I should use stone. That sign. What do you call it? A facade? Not a facade. Um, a frame? Cover? Not cover either. Oh, I forget what it's called, but you can you can put in in anchors and it will put in a cover around it so that you don't have this gap it will come back to me but anyway um i've hooked up all the main drawers that were here um i as far as i knew oh i need to fill that back in as far as i knew you could extend you have a range of 12 drawers and that's where it stops and then you can extend that range with a um that's not what I want with a um a draw control not controller a slave right but I tried that on here because I wanted it all to go on out this way and it just would not see past here because I used to I had the slave here it wouldn't see past it all the drawers I had on this side it wouldn't see it so I just ended up putting the drawers on this side but I don't like how that is. So I don't. I've also got a um like a drop chest. So then things come into the system. They come into this chest and then into the ME drive, and they fill up that way as well. So everything now I can come in. I could drop off stuff and it all goes in here. The only thing is I need more external storage. Because um, in the other room, 
Let's go. I still have all these um, chests full of stuff. Right? So I've still got all of this stuff. What? Oh, I could bring those across. And that. But, um, yeah, I still have chests. All these chests are full of stuff. Or most of these chests are full. Um, I think these bottom chests are empty. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no. That one isn't. Some of these are. They put in sugar cane. But, yeah, these top chests are full. Chests behind here that are full. And these, um, these drawers over here, they're all, um, they're all seeds. So I don't need to bring them across. But I need some, I need something to put this stuff in. And I don't know what to put it in. I don't know what I can put it in. So, um, if anybody has any great ideas, I would really love to know. Because I really don't fancy making tons of... Um, I was going to click the bread. That's the other thing. Um, Cujo disappeared. Don't know where he is. Can I? No. All right. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, did he die? I did that before, and nothing happened. He must have died, but I don't know. How or when I didn't get a notification saying he died. I don't know how he died. I did that before and nothing happened. And it's like, okay, so maybe he was stuck someplace and he had he wasn't dead when I did it. And now I've just gone and done it and he's reappeared. Okay. Um Alright, well scratch that then. Cujo has not disappeared. Cujo was um was just waiting for me. That's what it is. Put this to one side so as you can see i've cleaned up i put this on the ceiling maybe yeah let's put that there right so um i've cleaned up all the stuff that was down here moved it i moved um the mixer over and moved out the sluices because we don't need that this we will probably need for stuff, so I've just left it. And um, I've left this going, but I don't really need it anymore. But, you know, just in case. I don't know. I don't know about this yet, but I've just left it. I might just run, I should really just run it into a battery. Because, you know, we we can use all the extra power. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Right, so, today's episode, after all that rambling. Oh, you know what? Let's see if this should. Yes. Going in. Excellent. Right, um, today's episode. Uh, this is all um, to do with auto-crafting and stuff. I haven't set that up yet. Got to take my time and do it. So I will get there. And wireless crafting. We'll get there. But I want to go on to mechanism because, you know, mechanism, I, I have to admit mechanism is my favorite mod, tech mod. Although I haven't, I've done four times um, all um, processing. I've never done five times all processing and I've never done the whole, the turbines and the radiation and all that kind of stuff. I've never done that. I don't know if this will go into it. But, you know, up to three times all processing and stuff, I like using mechanism. So we need mechanism machines because once we get that, we can clear up upstairs and get rid of some of the, the thermal machines that we have and get on with things. So let's see. Um, 40, 64 osmium ingots we have. Um, and they're quite power hungry, so you want to build, you would eventually want to build a draconic reactor or other source of power. Okay. Okay. All right. So next we have to make a configurator. 
Okay, so the first thing to each craft when beginning your mechanism setup is the configurator. This will allow you to configure the pipes and cables leading to and from your machine and also the machine in themselves. The mode that your configurator is in displays on the bottom left of your screen and you can change your mode by holding shift and your mouse wheel. Okay, so I think we can get rid of Okay. I will get back to auto play that, didn't I? I'm gonna get back to auto crafting. But I'm not sure when we will get there. Go. So oh it's a different recipe. So we want a pipe wrench, a pipes pipe wrench. I've got one somewhere. Aluminium rods and three redstone wire. Okay, do we have any wire on this side or is I think it's all on the other side? Oh no, we got three. Um aluminium. And right, I'm pretty sure not in there. I think it's in the other one. Yeah, when I say that I need a, I need some, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this junk out here. Oh, but you know what? Maybe I can have it and I think I might be able to use it. Uh, what am I looking for? Pipes. I did make one. Okay, it's easy enough. Hmm. But maybe I can bring it all across attach and attach it to Tom's simple storage, but then attach the um the import bus not import bus see I've got the import bus to bring stuff into the system, but then up here, I have a storage bus on a um a draw controller. So then that will put things into these drawers. So maybe I could try putting, I could set up Tom's simple storage here, put an import bus on it, not an import bus, storage bus, a storage bus, right? Yeah, storage bus on it. And then it could just dump everything in that. And then the, you know, this will fill up slowly, my disk drive. I don't know, it's worth a try. I will try it offline because I don't want to waste time with that now. Right, where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I need some iron to make a wrench. That's what I want. Okay, configurator. All right, we get a... Uh... A loot crate. We need six universal cable. Only got one. Universal cable is redstone wire and osmium. Okay, let's do a search for. Okay, we've got six. Uh, back in. Let's cable back in. And we get our six mechanical pipes. Is good. Universal cable um carries um current. Mechanical pipes carry fluid. Right, metallurgic infuser. Uh Mechanism is a huge mod, but your goals in this adventure are to get back home. These quests will primarily lead you through the process of all multiplication to mass produce the materials you need to complete your mission. Mechanism offers many tools and alternate processes that are already provided elsewhere in the pack. So for the sake of avoiding redundancy, if you would like to explore some of the other aspects of the mod, such as alternate power generation and endgame armor, 
the quest reward will place a link in your chat that will help you follow that you can follow in some in-depth tutorials okay right so we need a metallurgic infuser silver furnace we don't silver furnace. I think they've changed these um these recipes up that's fine all right, I have upgrades for a furnace. Let's see if I have anything. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. If I set up Tom's on the side and have cable leading to it, then hopefully furnace. I have, I have a silver furnace. Oh, look at that. All right. But I do have upgrades as well. Because I have loads of stuff that is kind of like, I don't particularly feel like sorting them out. So yeah, that would be something to look, look out for. Okay, so. What are we missing? Two hoppers. I probably had hoppers, but... um. Chests. I have chests. There you go. Metallurgic. In that will give me the link. I'm going to leave that for now. And metallurgic. Metal oh. Recipes for metallurgic infusion can be found in JEI. Hover over the infusion buffer to see how much Miller buckets of material that recipe needs. So, the metallurgic infuser is the first machine used in your mechanism or duplicate production line. It creates alloys that are used in upgrading your machine's pipe armor. To infuse alloys, you will need to provide the infusion material in the buffer to the left of the GUI. Depending on the recipe, this can be things like redstone, diamond dust, etc. We want eight in alloy, which is redstone in um in redstone and iron. Now I rem now if I remember it's usually one to one, so if I put one redstone dust, you can you it's one redstone dust, one piece of iron, and that gives you infused alloy. However, you can use enriched redstone, which so enriched redstone is in the enrichment chamber and that is the equivalent of eight pieces of redstone so that is basically what you to get the most out of your redstone you'd want to enrich it before you use it in your infused alloy so the enrichment chamber how do you make that steel casing i might be able to make this i might be able to make this to make the um, steel casing, and I'm pretty sure I've got two basic controls. How many do we need? Eight, yes. I can do that on a single piece of redstone rather than... I mean, I know I don't need to conserve my redstone, but um, you can... I, I like doing it that way. Basic, yes. Um, basic control circuits. Let's make the enrichment chamber. Okay. Uh, steel casing. Got that. And then the... Uh, Oh no, because it's up here. It took me a long time to work out that it wasn't some kind of bug and that it's because I was typing in the wrong place. Enrich. Okay, we need the redstone. Don't we have? Where's my redstone? Oh, I might have taken it up. Uh, 
No, not all of it. Where's all my redstone gone? That's now bugging me, because I have... Hmm. I'll have to find it. It's not behind here, because this is empty. Oh no, it's another court. thought that was empty. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where my redstone's gone. And I had loads. Pretty sure I had it in a compacting. Maybe it might be in my backpack, and I haven't put it out yet. Right, so that is the enrichment. So let's set this up. Hmm. Let's put it out this way. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't have a bucket. Um, do I have any power cables? These two join? I don't know if they can. No, they can't. Ah, oh, this is mean. Oh, you know what I could do? I can put another battery here and then extend the um the the universal cable. And that will do until I work out what I have. Enrichment chamber here. Here. Right, let me go make. Need to make? Need to make action. My pickaxe. Ah, uh, I really need to sort out this rat's nest, dire wolf stuff. It's annoying. Right, so that's got power. And then the energy cable needs to craft it. They go out to there. Bottom is input, no, bottom is output. Stop to be. But these are now filling up. Uh, I have energy K. Oh, I do have. I will sort out my backpack. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't want. Oh, actually, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay, so now that should be. That is perfect. See, I planned that. Yeah, that's my story and I am sticking to it. Okay, right. Enrichment. One of the. We have no base. Oh, I really need or sort out is there anything I could get rid of no oh I could have eaten that right eat the eggs benedict oh god Right. No. Did I make the wrong thing? I bet you I made the wrong thing. Oh, you just put it on the top. I don't know. There you go. Sometimes. I promise I do know about mechanism. I have played with it before. Right, so now this is the equivalent of um, eight pieces of redstone. So when I go back downstairs 
and I put eight pieces of um, iron. Did I clear out anything? No. Uh, iron. Iron. Iron, please, maybe. I have iron in here. There it is. Eight. And we got to go back up. I'm going to, where I'm going to put a, a. Right, so I put this in here and that gives me eight miller buckets of redstone, 80, sorry, miller buckets of redstone, which is the equivalent to eight pieces of redstone. And then I put the iron in here. It's going to finish up doing um, eight enriched alloys. If I had just, if I'd taken the redstone without enriching it, it would have just been 10 miller buckets of redstone. And then I'd only be able to do one piece of iron. If I do a block of, if I put in a block of redstone, it would fill it with 640 miller buckets of redstone. And then um, what you can do, um, for, so for example, is it not one to one? Oh, it's not, it's two to one. Oh, there's me saying it was one to one, it's two to one. I'm sorry about that. I swear it was one to one. All right, let's enrich another piece. That's the thing about um, mechanism machines, they're quite noisy and in the beginning they're quite slow, but then you can upgrade them. Oh, this is new. Before it used to just tell you, now it's actually showing you upgrades. Oh, that is nice. I like that yeah so you can use speed you can use energy so it would increase each each one tells you what it does so when you put in energy it increases the energy efficiency and the capacity and the muffling upgrades because these um, machines can be quite noisy you can also get anchor upgrades um stone generator upgrade that's a new one I've never seen that before the anchor got upgrade keeps the machine chunk loaded i think that's only used in the um the mechanical miner you can also get a gas upgrade for machines that use gas and a filter upgrade a filter that separates heavy water from regular water i don't think i've ever used that that might be new because i can't remember seeing it but um yeah not in not sure about that but you put the upgrades in here then they'll appear on this side so you can see what upgrades you have and this button is new as well now if you want to uninstall the upgrades you just click on it and it will output them into this slot here so we have our eight infused alloy you and that gives us a 10 coin okay so what do we have to do next the enrichment chamber oh we've already done the enrichment chamber so let's um thank you I was ahead of the curve. Like I said, I planned it that way. I knew exactly what I was doing. All right, and that gives us an, an energy meter. Okay, the enrichment chamber serves two purposes. First, it can double the throughput of your vanilla metal ores. So in the next section of quests, you can see how you will triple them. Secondly, the enrichment chamber can improve the quality of materials used in the infusion buffer. For example, using enriched redstone will provide you with 80 miller buckets of infusion slash enrichment buffer, while using a regular piece of redstone only gives you 10 miller buckets. And that's basically what I just told you. What's the energy meter for? Oh. Oh. Don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Energy meter. Is there a, a mod core energy meter?
There is a mod called Energy Me. But I don't know what you do with it. I guess you put it on your network and you can see how much energy you're actually, you're actually using. Okay. Right. Actually, I think... Richmond Chamber... Okay. Right, let's see what is the next bit. Speed upgrade. I want a speed upgrade and that gives you an energy upgrade. And then afterwards, oxygen loader. Um, you'll also have to make an electrolytic separator, but that also has the ability to create oxygen. Okay, I've never heard of an oxygen loader. Okay, different. It's a different mod. Oxygen tank. Okay. Okay, well, these are not, from what I can see, I oh, know they are connected. That goes down to the purification chamber. Okay, then we're going to get into some heavy stuff. All right, well, I think. Before I get into all of that, I've got to clear up this mess up here. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.